worried about me well then ready to hit the books again go on that's what I like to hear you should study up and surprise your father with your genius when he gets back Roughly a year and a half had passed since the fight with the dreadful Frieza.
But there was still no sign of Goku returning to Earth. The world had entered a period of peace. That peace, however, was to be short-lived. As a new threat was rapidly approaching the planet, not to notice. There's no way we're gonna miss a massive energy reading like that. This can't be good. Do you really think it's Frieza? Well, sure seems like it. They'll know we're here if you don't quit your foolish babbling and lower your power levels. They have scouters, after all. The Namekian's already lowered his. At least one of you is smart. Piccolo! They're here! <laughs> they landed over there! It's Frieza. It's gotta be. I can't believe he's still alive! Uh, hold on. I think there's someone else with him. Do not fly there, got it? We can avoid scouter detection by simply walking up to them. You, you guys have actually fought against someone with this much power? You, you gotta be kidding me! What are we supposed to do once we get close to them? You'd rather stay back here and rot, is that it? Suit yourself. All of us know what we're up against. Just to be perfectly clear, Earth is completely done for. This... this can't be happening! Man, the closer we get, the heavier the air seems to get. We're, o we're almost at his ship. Are you sure you're ready for this? It, yes! So, so this... I've seen worse hunks of rock. It seems this Super Saiyan Goku you keep going on about is set to arrive here in three hours. So you intend to wait for him, Frieza? Why, of course, Father. But I want him to suffer for what he did to me, so I think I'll slaughter every last one of his beloved Earthlings. 
I couldn't care less about the Earthlings, but we do absolutely need to rid ourselves of that Super Saiyan. By any means necessary. Hmm. And what brings you here, Earthling? I'm here to kill you. The Mysterious Savior from the Future. What's that now? You're here to kill us, you say? Hmm. Eliminate him. Sir! Well, now. It seems you've got some skill. Come at me with everything you've got. Unlike Goku, I won't take it easy on you. Goku? Oh, I see. So you're an ally of his. Never met the guy. Only know him by name. Oh, dear. You do realize that killing my men puts you in grave danger, do you not? Now I have to kill you myself. You miscalculated. A miscalculation? Oh, I beg to differ. Wiping you and the rest of the filth from this planet would be child's play. That's not what I meant. You're about to find out what it's like to fight a real Super Saiyan. And I'm not talking about Goku. There's another one right here! Yeah! Yeah! 
Possible. for Goku. You're more than welcome to join me. <gasps> How does he know about my dad? He's gonna show up right over there. If you're coming, then follow me. So what do we do? Creep is. Doesn't matter. You saved the Earth, after all. 
It'll be another three hours before Goku gets here. So please, just hang tight a little bit longer. He should be here soon. Super Saiyan at will? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't at first, but I can control it pretty good now. That's great. Now I have to ask, would you mind transforming for me now? You got it. This good? So, what now? Now, I'll become a Super Saiyan too. you to fight me and I won't go easy fine by me Yeah! 
incredible, Goku. Yeah. Hey, you're no slot yourself. I can see how you defeated Frieza so easily. to tell anyone else what I'm about to tell you. Gotcha. Don't worry, talk away. Your seat might be difficult to believe what I'm about to say, but I've come here from 20 years into the future using a time machine. The, the future? 20 years from now? My name is Trunks. I'm Vegeta's son. What? Vegeta's son? Actually, now that you mention it, you do kind of look like him. I'm going to be born two and a half years from now. But that's not why I came here. There's something much more important I need to tell you. So please listen. Huh? Oh, right. Three years from now. On May 12th, at around 10 a.m., two incredibly powerful figures will appear on an island five and a half miles southwest from South City. Who are they? Are they aliens? No. They're androids. Created right here on Earth. They were created by a mad scientist from the former Red Ribbon Army named Dr. Giro. The Red Ribbon Army? That's right. The same one you took down many years ago. Oh, yeah. When I was just a little guy. I thought I got rid of those guys a while ago. Like, back when I beat up their boss. Unfortunately, Dr. Giro survived and continued his research. So, what's he after? World domination or something else crazy? I'm not entirely sure, but it's possible that was his end goal. But his androids were designed to be killing machines. And they eventually turned on their creator. Meaning, the androids were free to kill and destroy to their heart's content. It's been just me against the two of them. I struggled to make it out alive. 
Wait. Uh, what happened to everybody else? They're gone. 20 years from now, I'm the only fighter left. In the fight. Three years from now, my father over there, Krillin, Piccolo, everyone is killed. Only Gohan managed to make it out alive. He taught me how to fight four years before I came here in the time machine. As you know, with Piccolo gone, the Dragon Balls could no longer be used, meaning we couldn't bring anyone back once they were killed. The android's unquenchable lust for bloodshed eventually turned the world into a nightmarish hellscape. They're too strong. Nothing can take them down. Hey, wait, hold up a sec. What about me? They didn't kill me too, did they? Even you couldn't join in the fight. Not too long from now, you'll fall prey to a severe heart virus. What? Well, this is a pickle. I'm guessing sensu beans won't work, huh? Man, this sucks on so many levels. I can't believe I'm gonna die in such a lame way. I really wanted to fight those guys. Y you're disappointed you can't fight them? Aren't you scared? Well, yeah, I'm scared. But you said they're crazy strong, right? Of course I want to fight them. I see. You really are a true Saiyan warrior, aren't you? Here, when you start to see symptoms, take this. It's a medicine developed 20 years from now. It should keep you alive. Whoa, really? Awesome! Thanks. Normally, history shouldn't be changed. But I've got to do whatever I can to prevent those atrocities from coming to pass. My mother always spoke very well of you. She knew you'd help us. That's what pushed her to complete the time machine. Wait, your mother? She knows who I am? Yes, she knows you well. Wait, you said she built a time machine. Isn't that right? And the only person I know who can do that is... No way! Your mom isn't... Yes. She's right over there. Whoa! Bulma? Out of all the stuff you just told me, that's gotta be the craziest! I thought she'd stick with Yamcha. To, to think she'd end up with Vegeta of all people, I mean... It just makes no sense. Please, make sure not to tell anyone. I can't have people knowing who I really am. If you do, well, I uh, might never be born. Oh, yeah, right. Mum's the word. Well, I'd better get going back to my own time. I need to let my mother know how everything went here. Hey, are we going to see you again? Making a round trip in the time machine requires a lot of energy, so it'll take some time. If I can survive until then, I'll definitely come back to lend my support three years from now. Stay alive! What a great new goal! Now I'm gonna start training extra hard for the next three years! Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey Goku! 
We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say. About the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. <laughs> androids, huh? Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot. Spill it. How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right. We've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah. For a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right. The Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep. They were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at 9. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not going to babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> Sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right. See you guys soon. Or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that?
Fine, but don't waste too much of our time.
Chi-Chi, I'm home. Hi, Mom. G Goku, H is that really you? <laughs> of course it's me. You look like you've been doing pretty good. You had me so worried. Where have you been this past year? And what's with those clothes? And Gohan, what are you doing in that outfit? Uh, yeah, about that. You know, it's kind of a long story. <laughs> what? You have to train Gohan because you're gonna fight some robots in three years? Yeah, that's okay, right? No, that's not okay! Are you insane? Do you think I'm just gonna let you waltz in here and disrupt Gohan's studies? No, it's, I'm not trying to do that. It's just, well, the Earth might be in big trouble about three years from now. No, I don't care what you say. I'm not letting Gohan train with you. Hang on, wait. You're saying the fate of the Earth isn't as important as Gohan's studies are? Of course Gohan's studies are more important. Nothing's more important than that. What? You don't believe that, right? Come on. Let Gohan train with me. Ugh, fine. This is the absolute last time, you hear me? Chi Chi. But in three years, he's done with all this fighting. You got that? <sighs> Thanks, Chi Chi. And sorry. So even Super Saiyans have their weaknesses. Alright, since that's settled, let's go train! Goku! Goku, can you hear me? Hey, I know that voice! It's Kami! Yep, reading you loud and clear! How's it going? I'm glad to see you've made it back to Earth. I've been waiting for you. My apologies. But would you please come to my lookout? I must speak with you. Oh, really? Does it have to be now? I was getting ready to go train. What I have to say concerns everyone. Everyone? Uh-oh. Got it. Don't worry. I'll be right there, Kami. Good. I'll be waiting. You guys, I'm sorry. But there's been a change in plans. Looks like I gotta head to Kami's place. What do you think? Want to come with me? Oh, Kami, huh? I have absolutely no desire to speak with him. Gotcha. Tell you what, why don't you guys go on ahead and train without me? R really? Uh, okay, Dad. So, uh, do you know where we're going? Don't need to. I can find you guys just fine. I'll just search for your energy. Are you sure? Go on, get going. Be sure to do your best with Piccolo until I get back, though, all right? Leave the kid to me. I'll whip him into shape. What? Uh... I wonder what's so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training.
so important that Kami needs to interrupt my training. All right, there it is. I think there was something off about Kami. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. Yeah. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Hey, Kami, Mr. Popo. Long time no see. I've been waiting for you, Goku. Oh? What's up? Well, I have something to tell you about the Dragon Balls. Shenron under the weather or something? No, no. You see, uh, my life is nearing its end. Call it an old man's intuition. What? Ah, oh, no need to dwell on the matter. It's simply a feeling. Uh, if you say so. But not all hunches come true, you know. Indeed. But should you have any wishes, let us err on the side of caution and act now. <sighs> Gotta think this through. Got it, Kami! Uh-oh. I'd better head on back now. Piccolo and the others. They're over there. What's up? Let me guess. You need help with something? <laughs> yeah, you guessed right. Yeah? What is it? Uh, Shinzu beans. Old Corrin's growing a new batch of them. They're still gonna need some fertilizer, though. So I thought that you might be up to the task of getting some. Me? Why don't you do it? Oh, uh, because, uh, because I'm busy. Doesn't look to me like you're doing anything. Y shut it! You and Krillin are probably gonna use most of the Sinzu beans anyway. So why not help a little? Do your part! Jeez! Hmm, I guess you have a point. Man, this guy is so easy. Uh, that's more like it. I'll tell you what you need to do. Then take a look. That's the fertilizer I need. It's in the sacred land of Corin. Made it easy for you. I marked where to find it on your map. See here? You'll find it all the way down at the bottom of this tower. All right, that should be enough info. You got it? Yep. See you later. 